Hey guys, please uh, consider subscribing. Yep. Yeah, I know I keep saying I'm going to get a new workstation so I can actually fit these boxes in shot, but uh, it's Christmas! <laughs> I hope I don't damage anything. Let's just cut a little, little hole. <laughs> Let's just shove my hand in this glory hole. We'll just do... We'll, I'll do one thing like this. It's, yeah, it's too close. All right, you've seen the box, I'm moving it. It's that time of year again where Pokemon puts out a bunch of landfill that I buy into. Uh, we have the first Christmas tag right here. Looks more like a birthday party with what Pikachu's wearing. I don't know why they always wear these little like pointed hats for all occasions. Ooh, this one's Christmas in the sea. They've always got a like a weird theme. I guess it's because they want to give some love to some of the water Pokemon that have been missing out. I'm just gonna rummage my hand in the box like always, yes. grab a random item, and we'll start looking. Um, I, oh, I thought this was like two in one, but it's actually a two piece. Okay, we got a Mantine. Yeah, this is uh, one I didn't think I'd ever see in a Christmas set with a Piplop riding on the back. So this is how they deliver presents under the ocean. This is. Santa's sleigh. Let me give you a little rotate of this little guy. Very cool. He's got a big sack of gifts here. Looks like uh, maybe this year Pikachu is getting sacrificed to the underwater gods. I'm assuming they're all going to have this cute little uniform bow. And one of my favorite parts sometimes is the, the, the tag. But no, they've changed things up. Usually this has a really nice illustration of the Pokemon, but but damn, looks like this year they just they've all got this tag. Alright, what else we got in here? See if I can fish up. Get it because it's ocean themed. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, what are these? These feel like maybe baubles. Let's find out. Let's take it out. Yay! A little something you can hang. It's this is God, this is weak. I simultaneously love and hate the Pokemon company. That's all right. I'll never be sponsored anyway. I can do a little bit of cheeky shit talking. All right, this is like, honest to God, this is the weakest excuse for a Christmas bauble. I can't wait to collect all of them, guys. What is this, a Christmas bauble for ants? Can you even see what that is? If it stops rocking, Glaceon with presents. It doesn't even look high res. I always try to buy every single thing, but I only got four here, and it looks like there's a whole bunch. A blessing, really. Yeah, can't wait for my grandma to put on her glasses and then get so close to the Christmas tree that the ferns are going down her throat, just so she can depict which little Pokemon's hanging inside the fucking ball. Next, what else you got? Yes, every single time I do a holiday themed opening where I open everything. I am always disappointed. I always shit talk. And no, I do not regret buying everything. It is my obligation. Let's take a look. I actually like this. Pikachu, you can't go wrong with a plush Pikachu. The tag? What the fuck were they thinking? Why is the lid hanging off back? What? That's not even the right way. Why? Is his whole body in here? Could I put, oh yeah. You can't, if you want to detach him, you could have like a, a regular Pikachu plushie. Yeah, I'm not the Grinch full time. I do like a lot of the stuff they put out. I just despise this shit. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. What else do we have? Okay. What is this? Is this electronic? Okay, I don't think, I do not remember buying this. I don't think it's Christmas themed. What is it? It's a switch plate. Man, maybe I'm just mindlessly spending. I mean, yes, I am, but you know, maybe more so than usual. I'll put that on my switch. There you go, little Pokemon action. Thanks, Santa. All right, what do we have here? Is this like a stocking? That's a pretty weak stocking. <laughs> I'm just super heavily critiquing all of this stuff today. No, seriously though, that that is really something you'd only see in Japan. Do you think an American store would sell, sell a stocking this small? Yeah, I guess you could fit a couple of baubles in there. All right. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Every single episode I do of these, they just keep making them. It's the face, the little face towel. I like this little snowflake in the bottom there. A little hand or face towel. The, the bunch of little cute Pokemon on it. What else we got? Let's see, more plushies. These are the ones that, I, that I'm in it for. The medium sized plushies, because they always do, they always do these little hanger ones. I mean, you can just rip the hanger off, I guess. And it is actually kind of nice quality this time. But these medium ones, much better. All right, we have a Glaceon. 
It's not really under the sea themed, is it? Like, what the fuck is this about? What is he? What are you talking about, Glacion? Do your little turn. Turn around for the folks back home. Got a little, uh, little Gucci Christmas shawl. Nice, nice. Swagging on them, dripping on them. We got uh, two. What do you got? The two Oron berries, Christmas themed or something? Are those baubles also? Looks like we've got a bunch of different plushes in this one bag. All right, so here's another one, another hanger. I'd rather. I guess I'd rather just hang these on the Christmas tree, if given the option. We've got. Um, oh, that's a demented looking chin chow. Uh, shouldn't the the like antenna be able to move off? Why have you like pinned them down here? Yeah, I'm gonna say it. You know what? I'm about to say it. This sucks. Yeah, I mean, you you put it. You, it has a hat. Okay, cool. I'm wearing my own hat. Fine, I'm wearing my own hat. All right, up next. Okay, now this is a Pokemon. Okay, this has made me cheer up a little bit. This is bringing the festive joy. A little feel. This is, uh, he's got to be in my top 20, I reckon. I kind of always forget about him, but he is a certified cutie pie. He has his scarf on. He also has a same little top hat. And he has, uh, his pimp cane for beating some festive spirit into his holiday hose. Next! Oh, not Max Mofo buying up all the holiday pins again. Yeah, they print, like, tens of thousands of these things. They, there's, like, no limit to what you can purchase with these. Well, other products, they do allow you to only buy uh, one or two sometimes. Also, another reason I like buying lots of these is because they have one every year. It's very small, and anyone who I know likes Pokemon, I can just go grab one from every festive thing in the past couple years. And give it to them as a gift, you know? There it is without the plastic. Pokemon Christmas in the sea. I'm long overdue to get a cork board and start putting up all my pens. Neck! It's Galarian Corsola. Yeah, you're a great representative from, th from the seas. A Pokemon that's clearly a comment on how humans have destroyed them. You look like such a happy little fella. For you it's Christmas, smile! This is one of the most <laughs> depressing Pokemon. And they've included it to bring the Christmas spirit. Oh! We've actually got a, like a... There's a proper Christmas box in here. Look at this. Pokemon Christmas in the sea. Okay, no, stop. I'm not- I'm not collecting cardboard boxes. It's not happening, you're not- you're, I'm not going there just yet. Oh, wait a minute, you didn't tell me there was a Pikachu on the other side! Alright, this box- this just looks like stuff that I got for another video. There you go, maybe sneak peek. Although those are the sorts of things I just like to do one of in random videos. I'll do one. We've done one of this series before. They're just like- it's called Battle on Your Desk like at your computer or, or something. A bunch of them have things like this where you can, you know, you can put a uh, your cock in there. Tyranitar! He looks extremely high quality though for one of these little things. Like that's, I always say, but some of these you can take off, you can have as a standalone figure, but he also works nicely with this. I guess the theme as well as, yeah, they're, they're, battle, they're all doing like different attacks towards each other if you set them up on your desk. It's starting to look like, I feel like there's less stuff for this Christmas compared to last. We have some festive wall stickers. We have some festive document holders. Did we see this particular artwork on any anything else in this set? So that's how they're spending Christmas under the sea. We have some uh, more stickers, very, very, very holographic. There you go, put a couple of those up. Oh no, now that we've taken them all off, the, the Christmas event has ended, everybody's gone. What is this? Oh, it's one of these shitty things you gotta assemble or something. These things, this stuff is so dumb. We're gonna stretch it out, plug it into that, and... Wow! Imagine the faces of your colleagues if you set this up at your work desk. Just incredible, how do they do it? And we have... Well, it's not really a postcard, but I guess it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection! This is the second one Pokemon postcard, or not postcard, because this thing confused me last time. I thought for a second it was a postcard. It is not. It's got, it's like a calendar thing? But it kind of is. I really do hope they haven't replaced the postcards with these. Because this is the sort of stuff I'm seeing in my orders now. Man, the Pokemon Company fell off. Oh, I also had uh, this in here. The deck sleeve of the day, it's got sword and shield guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't get you too down. I hope you do have a fantastic Christmas spent with the loved ones. And I hope you open up some Pokemon cards. And may your 
Pools be plentiful. It's okay, I didn't forget this. Our matchless fighter pack that we open each episode. Let's take a look, we got the horn, Sobble there, Sharpedo, nothing in that one, but that's okay. Because you know I'm doing one of these every episode now. Let's take a look, all right. So we just take the front one off, which is the uh, water energy. Don't need to mess around with that. And then we go through, and it's the packs with the guaranteed hits. So we're gonna get two holographics, a bee drill, and a Snorlax doing a belly flop. And nothing too special. Do we have another one? We turn it All right. Yes. Frostmoth. Now we're talking. Take a look at that. My God. Uh, Melanie down here. I think I think her name is still getting new cards from this set. Incredible. That's uh, I'd say that's a, that's a quite a Christmassy themed card to finish on too. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you don't want to support me on this channel, uh, you can buy the merch there. Look at that merch, beautiful merch. You can get decked out in that merch for Christmas. Link at the top of the description below, or you can go to Max Shirts with a Z Cool. Anything else you buy from that website that's not remember merch? Remember to use code my friends and check out some other videos. Check out. Um, some of the other Christmas videos to see the halls and uh, maybe compare the declining quality over time. Goodbye!